All right, guys, welcome back to Layers of Fear. My name is Ed. It's 4.10 in the morning. Sarah is gone. She's out of town. I'm playing this all alone. The only light on is the light of the TV and of this light right here. The cat has finished locked, running around like a maniac. And uh, I'm checking out this creepy bedroom. This game is really good. It is what a... I guess it's my kind of horror game. Because it's creepy, it's scary. But I'm not running around with no weapons trying to get away from a madman in an asylum, you know? It's just creepy enough. But creepy enough that I can handle it. <laughs> Alright, what am I supposed to do? Am I supposed to turn this back on? Let the room melt again. Let it burn. Dumbling all around, dumbling all around, dumbling all around. Oh. Won't let me, uh. Oh, there it is. Didn't have the option to, uh, turn it the other way. There it is, there it is. I guess we're supposed to let it burn, huh? Let it burn and then leave? Nope. Okay. So it's gonna burn. It's gonna melt. And then what? Hello? So yeah, thank you guys so much for joining me. Uh, watching this creepy game. What if I wind it up again? Keep going backwards. Huh? What if I do that? Burn even more. Nothing. Oh, what's this? I needed a jar and and a plastic tubing. I siphoned gas before. I knew how it was done. I stuck the tube in a vein and sucked on it until blood filled my mouth. Then put the tube in the jar and it just kept coming. The taste of copper haunted me the entire night. Why didn't I think of a syringe? So he had siphoned gas before. Does that mean he started the fire at the opera house? And what is he doing with blood? What is he doing with blood? Okay, now do I turn the record player back on? The other way? Let's make things right again. See what's going on here. I would like to leave now. Here we go. Now is it going to let us leave? Yep. Oh no. Back to the art room. For more creepy goodness. Let's check these out first. Canvas. Canvas. Canvasy. Paints and pencils. Nothing. Boo. Oh, wait. Can I open another one of these now? No. 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 <laughs> Can I take the skin, please? <coughs> oh. 
Excuse me. What am I painting? Ooh, that's open now, huh? I needed a plastic tubing. I siphoned gas before. Okay, so it's that again. So he's draining the blood. All right, so what when we get the when we open these f four other cabinets is the game uh form emerges. Is the game going to be over? I can't even imagine what my expression is every time I open a door. <laughs> I feel like I make the weirdest expression of puzzlement. Oh wait. This is where I was before, right? Different things in here. But I wonder if I'll be able to open that one door now that was like back. Oh. No entry. Well, of course. That's kind of kind of obvious, I guess. Not cool. He's throwing vases at me. Slip in here. Oddly empty room. Lots of room for shenanigans. Creator's block. What's going to happen when I turn around? Oh. Oh. Hello. I think I'd rather keep looking at walls. This is going to be horrible. I hate turning around in this game. Oh, lamp. Lamp. Okay. Whew. <laughs> I love lamp. No. Okay. Not a. Oop, oop, almost missed it. Oh, never mind. Was that just an empty shelf? All right, what's the point of this room? Just so the hall can freak out and be weird when I open the door on me? Jeez. I hate this. I just want to go to bed and continue this tomorrow in the daytime. Like I'm gonna sleep now. Why would I walk up to the window? Why would I do that? There's lights out there. <gasps> Every time it makes that noise, is that weird thing gonna walk around? Why am I doing this at 4.30 in the morning? Oh, that's right, because I'm an idiot. That's why. That's why. I forgot about that part. Sarah, will you come home, please? Alright, let's follow this paint monster. Well, restless memories. Hey, you're telling me. Ugh. What? Huh? Whoa. I'm Lionel Richie up in this piece. Collections? Ugh. Ah, thank you. 
Oh. Blah, blah. I gotta not do PCP. Flapping horror. Be quiet. Constantly flapping. Eating other rats. Game. The game. It's freaking me out. I'm seriously gonna have to like go on Amazon Prime and listen to Michael Bolton songs before I can fall asleep tonight. That'll soothe me. Nothing in here. Nothing. Nothing. Wait, I thought I turned this light on. Come on now. Oh. Alright. Let's go through the door. Hey, I remember this place. I recognize this carpet. It made me think of the president. Here again? So many books. Lamp. under that sheet, I wonder. We should never, ever find out. Ooh. Dear sir, if I'm to be honest, I can't say your letter was unexpected. Numerous colleagues have informed me that you had previously sought their advice in this matter, and while it's perfectly understandable for a patient to demand a second opinion, I would think 16 concurring opinions would be enough. Still out of respect for you and your wife, I've examined the case thoroughly, and I have to concur with my colleagues. Involuntary muscle spasms are not uncommon with patients who have suffered burns as severe as your wife did. What you refer to as a freakish grin or an unnerving yelp, though many would find such expressions hurtful, could indeed be manifestations of nerve damage. However, the maniacal laughter you mentioned does not seem to be a physiological symptom, but rather a purely psychological one. Post-traumatic stress is a well-known phenomenon and certainly nothing to be ashamed of. As to your demand that we fix your wife, you have to understand that what she went through cannot be undone with one simple procedure. It's a long, arduous process that will require all your strength and support. Please feel free to contact me or my colleagues should you wish to discuss a long-term rehabilitation program. So his wife was in the fire. She got burned up. And she was so disfigured that this guy went crazy. Hope kills the mind. It's a fun little fortune cookie. All right, going, I don't know, up or down. Going in a direction. There you go, whoops. And click. And click. Oh, we're going. We should go to the middle one. Can I go to the middle one? Oh yeah, we passed this one before. Okay, we are going to the middle one. All right. Well, when we come back, we're gonna go to the middle one. I'm probably going to stop here for the night, so when we come back, it might be daylight behind me. But, um, that's okay, because I could use a little daylight right now. Alright, you guys, thanks so much for watching. I definitely appreciate it, and we'll see you next time. Take care. Bye-bye.